I have been using Cloud Taskmaster since the past three days and I'm really amazed by the way it works. It makes the development with AI so much easier and so much faster. Hi everyone, this is a non-technical guide on how you can start using Cloud Taskmaster in order to make your AI development workflow much smoother. If you use AI in order to code, in order to build applications or write certain projects, then this video is going to be a lot helpful to help you understand how Cloud Taskmaster works and how it will create a seamless workflow for you that will not only make it easier to work with AI powered editors, but also help you make fewer mistakes, write better code, and save tons of money on credits because of how well it works. Let's begin the video. So we'll be using Cloud Taskmaster, which has got a lot popular in the recent days. Uh, it is an AI powered task management system that you can use with Cursor, Lovable, Windsurf, Rue, Klein, or any other editors. You can either use them with IDE like Cursor, Windsurf, etc. Or you can also use it along the terminal tools. You can start using uh, Cloud Taskmaster in two ways, either from Terminal or using MCP server. Since using Terminal will require a little bit of technical knowledge, we'll skip that and directly use MCP servers, which is much easier and much simpler to work with. So I'll just show you an example of how you can start using Cloud Taskmaster using uh, MCP server within Cursor. This will help you streamline your development workflow and make it much easier and faster to work with uh, AI tools like Cursor. So here I'm on an Xcode project. Now first we need to add a MCP server. And I guess you already know about how to do that. But if, it, if you don't know, you just need to copy this code from here. I'll also provide the link to this Cloud Taskmaster GitHub repo in the description of the in the description of this YouTube video so that you can easily copy it. So I'll just copy it from here. Now go to cursor and go to settings over here. Go to MCP. Click on add a new global MCP server and add all of that code over here. Now here you will need to configure the API key. Uh, you need to uh, configure the AI models as well. But uh, if you want to use free API keys, you can use Google API key, which has certain daily limits. Or you can also uh, keep a billing for Google API key as well. Or you can use some others like Anthropic, uh, which is cloud models uh, or OpenAI. I already have a Google Gemini API, so I'll just use that. I'll remove all of these from here. I'll add the Google API key over here. But please don't copy my API. Uh, although I'll delete it afterwards. Okay, here we have got the API. Now I'll just click on save. Okay, we have got some errors. We need to remove this comma, which were in the code that we copied. Now, if you go to cursor setting and MCP, you will have this Taskmaster AI MCP server with all of these uh, AI tools. Now, the first thing that you need to do after installing the MCP server is to initialize Taskmaster AI. So the benefit of using MCP over the CLI tools is that you can directly call the tools from the chat window. So you don't need to have any idea of the terminal commands, but you need to remember how to call them. Okay, you need to be able to call them with the right names. For that, you can just go to the a readme section of this github repo and you will see the commands section over here and these are some of the commands that you need to understand the first is the taskmaster which will initialize a new project parsing a prd and generating task then listing all tasks creating task and starting working on the task and generating task files so these are some common commands that you need to understand so first thing that we need to do after installing the mcp server is to initialize taskmaster in the project so you can just tell the AI to initialize here. Please initialize the taskmaster. So we are launching it here. You can see here that we are calling the MCP tool and the MCP tool just initialized taskmaster. And you can see here we have tons of new files, a cursor file, a row file, taskmaster with docs, reports, tasks, and templates. Now here is a important file that you need to understand. This is an example PRD. You'll need to create a new PRD.txt file with this template, but it is not compulsory to create a PRD with exact this same template, but uh, it's recommended by the creator of this 
a repo. If you are creating a new project, you need to outline everything about your product, like what is the features, who will use the application, what features you want, what is the user experience, etc. But if you just want to create new features or add new features, you can just tell it normally as well uh, without being explicit. Uh, for creating a PRD file, you can take help of some other external tools like Cloud or ChatGPT and you can refine your PRD file to make it as detailed and as good as possible so that you can have the best output from the AI. So uh, this is an example PRD, but I don't, I will not use this example PRD. I'll just uh, create a new PRD file later on. But once we have the uh, Taskmaster initialized, we, we need to set up uh, the AI models as well. So by default, it will set up certain, certain AI models. We need to change that as well. Uh, so I, I'll just ask, hey, uh, what AI models are we using uh, right now? for Taskmaster. Uh, there are three AI models, the main model, resource model, and the fallback model. You can see here, uh, for main model, we are using Cloud3 Sonnet. Uh, and for resource model, we are using Sonar Pro from Perplexity. And for fallback model, Cloud3.5 uh, Sonnet. Can you list all the available models that I can use? So here, I'm asking um, Taskmaster to list all the available models. And because I have configured the Gemini API, I'll just be using Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview 506 model. So I'll just select these two model names. Please use these two models. Use the 2.5 Pro model uh, for main model and research model. But for fallback model, please use Gemini 2.5 Flash. Now this will configure your AI models. If you don't do this, because you don't have the API key configured for these models like Sonnet, uh, Sonar and Sonnet again, it will not work. So it is calling MCP tool again. And here we have properly configured the main model to be 2.5 Pro Preview, 2.5 Pro Preview and 2.5 Class Preview. Now you need to add your prd.txt file. So I'll just create a new prd.txt file over here. Save it. And I'll just describe some of the features that I want to build uh, so that the taskmaster will properly take care of it. Hey, I want to add some features uh, for exporting and importing the main features, the main uh, settings of this application uh, related to power mode and power mode related configuration. All the power mode, the default as well as the uh, custom power mode should be uh, exported as well as should be importable and then we also should be able to export prompt then API keys and uh, AI provider configurations like connected or unconnected status and we should be able to import and export all of these uh, settings and when importing the app should be restarted to take in effect all the imported values will override the existing value in the app. So this is a voice to text uh, tool that I'm using. It is called as VoiceSync. I have just created a prd.txt file with, uh, with an explanation of what feature I want to build. Now you need to call the MCP tool again to parse the prd.txt file. So you just need to parse the prd.txt file and create tasks. Now this will again call the MCP tool. First it is looking for the prd.txt file which is in our root folder. Because we said prd.txt file, you can also name it something else. Okay, uh, it did not get access to the prd.txt file. So I'll just tell it again. Uh, parse the prd.txt file and create tasks. The prd.txt file is in the root folder, root location of the current project. Now you can see it has got access to the prd.txt file and it will properly create all the tasks. You can see here inside the tasks folder, there are no tasks right now. Now after the MCP tool finishes its work, all of the tasks will be listed under here. You can see here we have got 15 tasks now. And the best thing about Taskmaster is that it will list all of the tasks uh, with like priority, uh, difficulty, dependencies required status and when it completes a particular task it will update 
all the things about the task what was done what was uh, if there was any mistake what was the mistake if there is anything that needs to be updated so what is needed to be updated all those kind of things so it helps to have a very good understanding of what is happening and it will also make it easier for the AI to understand. You don't need to feed your entire code base to the AI every time. You can let the task manager MCP handle all of that. So you can see here, now it has generated all the tasks. Now I'll just tell it to show me all the tasks. And it will again call the MCP tool and show all of the tasks that are listed. Right. Now we can just tell it to build all the features one by one. I'll use Cloud Sonnet 4 for this. Let's go and complete all of these tasks one by one. Now this is the beauty of Task Manager. All you need to do now is relax, sit back and let it complete. Uh, you can also make sure that the MCP tool is always accepted so that you don't need to click on accept all the time. For that, you can go to settings, maybe in the features and enable auto run mode. You just need to toggle it on so that it will automatically run the MCP, automatically run tools without asking for confirmation. You can see here it is working on the task one and it has set the status to in progress by calling the MCP tool again then it is expanding on the task 1 to work on it now all of these MCP tools are completed by the API key you provided or the AI model that you configured the chat window will always be using the same model that you selected on here based on the cursor and you can see here we have got some more information on what to do the Taskmaster MCP has added subtasks that we need to complete now. Now it has updated the task1.txt file again with more information. And it will always be using these information in order to carry its work further. So it makes the AI more reliable towards the task that you are doing. And you can see here it is creating a new export data structure. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer time than I expected, especially the cursor. AI tool. Uh, maybe it's because uh, it has already consumed my 500 monthly limits. So I just need to expand it a little bit more. Uh, but I hope you get an overall idea of how you can use Taskmaster in order to uh, make your workflow much better so that you can complete uh, your projects better and faster than ever with, with the help of Corsair AI as well as Taskmaster AI. I hope this video was helpful for you and it helped you in certain way. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming with some more uh, AI and AI development related videos in the future. Have a great time.